And staying on transit, many businesses are breathing a sigh of relief this morning. Let's bring in Tyler Orton with business in Vancouver. And Tyler, things could have been pretty ugly had this strike gone ahead today. Oh, oh, very dicey. Ian Tostenson, the head of the BC Restaurant and Food Services Association, said that some establishments were going to have to immediately adjust their hours of operations and in some extreme cases even close down while this transit strike was going on. This deal is going to avert causes like that. Meanwhile, the Business Council of British Columbia, it had cautioned that the lack of movement of people, as well as the increased congestion into the streets, it would have made it more difficult for goods to get out of Metro Vancouver, and that would have had an impact on other parts of the province. And the council has already twice this year downgraded its growth forecast for the BC economy. It said that a transit strike could have slowed the economy even more. The Greater Vancouver Board of Trade, they also expressed concerns that an extended transit strike would have had dire impacts on the BC economy. So a lot of big relief, as you say, from the business community right now. Absolutely. And let's just hope that deal does get fully ratified um, as we wait for that tentative agreement. Uh, now, another story that you're following today has to do with a BC company tied to Cambridge Analytica that's now in some hot water here. Yeah, of course, recall that Aggregate IQ over in Victoria, they were involved with the collection of political data regarding Facebook users that was then used for political purposes in elections. Now, the commissioners in BC and Ottawa, they did a joint commission and they found that AIQ had been using this without proper consent from their users and that it currently underlines the gaping holes in privacy protection here in Canada. So despite the fact that AIQ had actually violated privacy laws here in this province as well as federally, the commissioners expressed concerns that unlike in the United States or the European Union, they don't have the power to find aggregate IQ for their role in violating our laws. So still some frustration abound for some of the holes that we see right now in Canadian privacy law. Interesting. All right. Tyler Orton with Business in Vancouver on this Wednesday. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sonia.